In this video, we're going to solve a particular problem which appeared in the year 2018, J Advanced paper. So here we have four options, and obviously this is the problem where multiple options probably correct. So notice that here there are two functions f and g, and they are related by three relations. One is fx plus y equal to fx fy fx fy fx equal to x into gx and it is given that limit x tends to 0 is gx is equal to 1. Now we have to test which option is correct. So let's go ahead and solve the particular problem. First, we consider the given conditions for this particular problem. Let's go ahead. So here fx and gx are two functions related to three given condition fx plus y equal to fx fy and fx plus fx fy fx equal to x gx and limit x tends to 0 gx is equal to 1. Let's recall them as the relation number 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Now notice for the option A, we need to test the differentiability of the function f. So that's why we rewrite the given relation 1 in the respective form, right? That's the tricks we used here. If x plus y minus fx equal to fy and fx into fy. Now we divide both sides by y. So therefore, fx if x plus y minus fx divided by y is equal to the respective form, right? So notice that. Why we rewrite that? Because here, notice that if I consider y equal to h, right, or y is very small, so therefore, it will be, looks like if x plus h minus fx divided by h. Do you want to recall that? It is the first derivative, right? Uh, first principle of derivative of any function. So therefore, we take the limit y tends to 0, and hence, we get limit y tends to 0 that the left hand side and obviously the right hand side but 1 plus fx will be must be outside of the limit because it is independent of the values of x now therefore using the first principle of derivative the left hand side gives us a dash x and right hand side is as obvious now notice the relation number two from the relation number two, it is obvious that fy is equal to y into gy. Let's apply that. Now, yy get cancelled, so therefore it will be limit y tends to zero gy. What's that? From by three, limit a y tends to zero gy must be equal to one. Hence, we obtain the f dash x, which is equal to one plus fx. Now, notice it is given that the function fx is defined from r to r. That means f is defined in every point. So therefore, f dash x is also defined at every point. And in other words, we can say that the function fx if is if dash x is exist or f is differentiable at every point x belongs to r. And that's why option A is correct. And that's it. Now we have to test the other options. Now, we already seen that that if dash x exists and if dash x is equal to 1 plus fx as we seen by relation number 4. Now notice the option number d. It says that if dash 0 is equal to 1. So that's why let's substitute x equal to 0 in the relation 4. So therefore if dash 0 is equal to 1 plus f 0. But see that uh, if 0 is not provided, but using the relation number 2, if I substitute x equal to 0, if 0 is definitely be 0 because 0 into something. So that's obviously be 0, right? So therefore, we can say that if dash 0 is definitely be 1. And that's why the derivative of if dash 0 must be equal to 1. And that's why option D must be correct. So therefore, option D is correct as well. So A, D, correct. Now the two options are remaining to be explored. That is option B and option C. Let's go ahead. Notice that uh, first we take care of option C. Uh, just complete that if a part, right? The function a part. Now here it says that the derivative of a dashed one is equal to one, right? So therefore we need to substitute, right? X equal to one as we did earlier. 
But notice, if I substitute x equal to 1, right, it will be f dash x is, uh, f dash 1 is equal to 1 plus f1. But f1 is not given and there are no other way to obtain the function, right? Now, there are no other way to obtain the function value at, function value f at 1, right? So that's why uh, we're trying to derive, we're trying to derive the function fx or the exp uh, expression y, right, by 4. Now see that by 4, it's a, uh, we can integrate that as with respect to x. So therefore, we rewrite the function, right, uh, as f dash x divided by 1 plus fx is equal to 1. It can treat it as differential equation as well. Now, if we integrate both sides, see that the uh, differentiation of the denominator will be the numerator. So therefore, by integrating, we get it as log of 1 plus uh, fx is equal to x and some arbitrary constant, additive constant. Now, notice that here we need to find out the value of c. How we do that? We already know that f0 is equal to uh, 0. So that's why we substitute x equal to 0 in the last relation. So if we substitute, we get that log of 1 plus f0 is equal to 0 plus c, that is c. Now, as f0 equal to 0, so therefore log of 1 plus f0 must be equal to log 1 and that is 0. So therefore c in my case is equal to 0. So therefore the required function will, uh, will be log of 1 plus x is equal to x and that's why 1 plus fx must be equal to e to the power x minus 1. So notice we already calculate the function, right? So now here we need to test that is f dash 1 is equal to 1. Now we already proved earlier that the function fx is derivable, right, at every real values. So therefore we are allowed to differentiate. Now we just differentiate it now. So as if we differentiate f dash x will be e to the power x. So obviously f dash 1 is equal to e and therefore option c cannot be correct. It's a very straightforward. So now it's left only one option that is option B. For option B it says that we need to analyze it the differentiability for the function gx but under the condition that g0 is 1. Now let's go ahead. Now we need to rewrite the function gx so therefore by 2 we can find gx is equal to fx by x but x is not equal to 0. Why? Because if x equal to 0 it is undefined and that's why for according to the option b we forcefully assume that z0 equal to 1. So therefore the definition of the function gx can be rewritten as that if x is not equal to 0 fx is e to the power x minus 1 divided by x and it's 1 when x equal to 0. Okay. That's it. Now we need to test the differentiability of gx function. Let's go ahead. Uh, notice the function fx, uh, uh, sorry, gx, uh, when x is not equal to 0. It's e to the power x minus 1 by x. So e to the power x minus 1 by x is always differentiable, right? So therefore, x greater than 0, x less than 0, gx is differentiable. But only the problem, it may occur at the point x equal to 0. So that's why we conclude that, right, that uh, we have to test the differentiability of the function only at x equal to 0 to make the final conclusion. So now to test for differentiability, we need to find the right derivative of gx at the point x equal to 0 and the left derivative at the point x equal to 0. So that's we defined as z dash 0 plus and g dash 0 minus. Now, let's go ahead and calculate the right derivative first. So g dash of 0 does. How about 0 plus? What will be the definition? Limit h tends to 0. g of 0 plus h minus uh, g0 divided by h. That using the basic definition of the right derivative. Now we know that it can be easily written as gh minus z0 divided by h. What is gh? h greater than 0. It will be limit h tends to 0 e to the power h minus 1 divided by h minus 1 divided by h. Now, 
just multiply both the denominator and numerator by h itself so therefore it will become right e to the power h minus 1 minus h divided by h square now it's obvious right now it's now it's obvious that right that it will be in the form of 0 by 0 so therefore we need to apply we need to apply the uh, l hospital rule so that means we have to de 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 differentiate the denominator and numerator. If we do so, it will be state for our e to the power h is e to the power h, what gone and h will be transformed to 1 and in the denominator h squared will be transformed to 2h. Again, it will be in 0 by 0 form. So therefore, we apply the L hospital rule once more time. So if we apply that, it will be e to the power h divided by 2. Now, h0 is not a singular point. So direct substitution is allowed. So therefore, it will be equal to half. So therefore, g dash of 0 plus is equal to half. So the right derivative is already computed. We need to calculate the left derivative as well. Let's go ahead and calculate the z0 minus g dash 0 minus. In that case, it will be limit h tends to 0. Uh, g0 minus h minus z0 divided by h. So therefore, it will be g of minus h divided by h, right? Uh, in that case, right, we notice that, right, what will be, what will be that g minus h. So g minus h will be equal to, right, g minus h will be equal to e to the power minus h minus 1 divided by minus h and minus 1. Multiplying the similarity by h and then applying the L hospital rule two times, it will be reduced to 1 by half as well. So therefore, the right and left derivatives are equal. Now, as right and left de derivative are equal, so therefore it is obvious that the function gx is differentiable at x equal to 0 and hence it will differentiable for every point in the real number domain. So therefore, option B is also correct and that's it. So therefore, for this problem, right, option A, B and D is the correct option and that's it. Hope you understood the problem. Thank you.